welcome to this week's video. My name is Lee back again and today we're going to be taking a look at the selection pane in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now previously we looked at the selection pane in Microsoft Word. So if you didn't see that video already, definitely take a look at that after today's video. But with the selection pane in PowerPoint, if you don't know, PowerPoint is very robust, much like any other Microsoft Office product. But with PowerPoint, in terms of graphics, elements, things like that, the selection pane makes it easier to break down different elements and pieces of content within your PowerPoint and your presentation. And we're going to take a look at how that's utilized today. So what we have here is just a sample PowerPoint presentation with some sample text, elements, uh, graphs, pictures, things like that for our example. So the first step we'll want to do is we will want to navigate to the Home tab in our ribbon. And then once that's selected, we're going to come over to where it says Arrange. It's the Arrange button here in the drawing section. And we're going to go ahead and click on the down arrow. Now from here, you can begin to order the different objects, elements, pictures, things like that within your document. Um, you can group them, ungroup them together, align them. But we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to click on Selection Pane. And once that's selected, we can actually take a look at all the different pieces of each slide within our presentation. The selection pane in PowerPoint functions much like it does in Microsoft Word. As you work through each slide, you can actually have control over each element within your slide in the selection pane. So you can actually hide each individual element of your slide. So we'll go through and just hide these for an example. You also have the option to show all the elements or even hide all the elements. If you double click on an element, you have the ability to rename it. So as you're kind of styling each individual slide, it may be easier to um, have your layers and all your selections aligned where you would like them to be. Now, if you want to rename it, just simply click Enter. And then you also can arrange the elements of your slide. So we'll just go through and kind of show you what that looks like. So as it's aligned, if we have something in front of something, um, it will be styled a little differently. So, as I mentioned, Microsoft PowerPoint is a very robust application, and when you're designing your presentations and working on graphics, there could be situations where you may have dozens of elements within each individual slide. So the selection pane will make it easier to keep things in order and keep everything aligned. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. If you found this helpful, be sure to drop a like on the video and share your support. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already, because we upload educational videos and tutorials like this every Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern, so definitely don't want to miss out on those. And lastly, I invite you to visit www.tcworkshop.com. Check out some of our upcoming classes and maybe even register for one of our upcoming PowerPoint classes. Or, if you're there, you may find training that fits you or your organization. Thank you for tuning in again. We'll hope to see everyone in the next video.